everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. <laughs> I'm your host, Brent Butler, and I'm here with Frankie. Hi, Brent. Hi. You just had your EP Stages come out. I did. It feels great. All these breakup songs, to have them out in the world, to have been released on Valentine's Day at midnight, it's like the anti-Valentine's Day EP. It's all about the stages of grief mm -hmm. going through, through a breakup. Okay, and and can you tell us a bit more about the name and the background of it because mm -hmm. uh, it, it's spelled with a seven in the middle. So yeah, it's basically like the seven stages, which are um, shock, denial, anger, bargaining, uh, depression, testing, and acceptance. And so each song on the EP is correlated to one of those stages in chronological order in song form well first of all i respect your spelling of it with a seven in the middle because here at pop dust we spell pop dust with a lightning bolt in the middle of course so we're as well, one does <laughs> well acquainted um and it seems like the songs are very personal to you they are is it based on a true story totally this is like you know basically in like at the end of not last year, but the year before, I just went through a really big breakup with someone who I was friends with for a really long time and then together with for a very long time. And, you know, all of a sudden, like my whole world was just a complete 180. And I didn't realize that I was writing like a breakup EP. I, I mean, I realized what I was doing, but not until I looked back at the last song I wrote on the EP was When I'm Ready, which is the last song on the EP. And when I reheard all the songs that I had kind of written and recorded throughout the year, I heard them and I was like, wait, this is so crazy. Like each song, I'm slowly getting a little bit better and healing and also going through all these different emotions. Like I have one really angry song. Like I just saw it like clear as day and I knew, okay, these are the songs that are going on the EP. This is what the EP is going to be about. And boom, like I just went through that. I like the idea that it's uh, there's a concept to it, mm -hmm. and that it is a cohesive body of work. A lot of times, yep. we're interviewing artists who, you know, for whatever reason, maybe because of the streaming nature of music now, go mm -hmm. a single at a time. Mm -hmm. um, but you put together uh, deliberately an EP. Yep. That tells this story. Yeah, that was really important to me because I feel like I agree with you that a lot of people release singles, which is totally fine, and I even was doing that right before this, but then again like when I reflected and saw like it was just such a clear theme it was clear as day that I was like this has to be it and I need to share it with the world and it was almost selfish too because I was like I want to heal myself I want these songs out and I want them off my chest and I know so many people who go through the same thing every day and so I just wanted to also give back a little my stages of grieving are a little different I, I go through mm. hunger <laughs> yeah um, well, I don't know why, but like right before you said that, ramen popped into my head and I just felt your hunger. We're just on a similar wavelength. Yeah, I was it's like, like ramen. hunger, <laughs> hunger, office reruns. Right. Oh, um, nice. Different stages of grieving ping pong. for me. Yes, ping pong. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah, it's very relatable. And also just Thank the you. idea of like a breakup, con a very uh, jagged little pillow view. Oh my God. Highest compliment ever. Thank you. Very Love well me, done. Alanis. Which sets me up great for the next question about your influences. I hear yep. that, uh, you know, like myself, you are a 90s kid. Totes. Um, what were a lot of your uh, the influences that got you playing music? Well, pop was hot in the 90s. We have Britney, Spice Girls, all the queens. Loved them. Grew up with them, would dance in front of the mirror, you know. So that is... That sprinkle of pop is definitely throughout my music. But then I also grew up with um, 70s music. So my parents would play Fleetwood Mac, Joni Mitchell, you know, all the singer-songwriters of the 70s, Simon and Garfunkel. So I grew up teaching myself instruments, and um, I wrote my first song when I was, like, eight. And so I've just been, oh, and Alanis, Queen Alanis, of course. Of course. And Avril. And when Avril played guitar, I was like, um, I'm playing guitar tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody that you just named is a huge fan of the show. So Amazing. Hey, Stevie, what's up? I'm sure <laughs> they all want to make collaborations with you. And as like a pop singer where it's pop music mm -hmm. and it's very well produced, mm -hmm. but with a lot of, you know, synth and, and polish, um, I'm legit kind of mad at how good you are on guitar. Oh, my God. That's so nice. <laughs> Seriously, it's so nice. Thank you so much. I'm glad I made you mad. It's That's made my day. <laughs> um, 
So how do you, uh, you grew up in Oakland, I believe? Yep, I'm a Bay Area girl. Bay Area girl mm -hmm. and living in LA now. I think yes. Nylon Magazine called you the embodiment of California. So kind. I mean, I'll take it. I feel like, yeah, I there's feel like state, I am. See, animals like a bear, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm feisty, like get, only get on my good side. I don't really know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Love I'm honey and climbing trees. Yes, love that. We came to New York during oh. a sleet storm of <laughs> sadness. I know. Thank you I kind of like that. it though. We never get snow, so it's great. Actually, I today I saw many people like, whoop, 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 right. like almost, Sli almost. I saw someone totally biff outside the hotel. You know, you have to like cover your chuckle. Normally, it's me, and today <laughs> not <laughs> yet. It's me too. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, hours. fun fact about your girl. In high school, I was voted most likely to trip while going up the stairs. Not musician, not like to become a singer. It was like, no, that was a category you can trip included? while walking up the stairs, you klutz. Yeah. Because I was like, thanks, guys. Is that like failing <laughs> upwards? Yeah. It's like, keep trying. Keep walking up. Keep going up that mountain, did, but you will this, fall. <laughs> what, what is the, the context? How did that happen? I literally don't know. Like, people, like they just looked at me. They probably saw me like trip a few times. They're just like, "Klutz, she's not going anywhere." Wow, guys, look at me now. I'm just kidding. She's I'm not on angry. pop dust. Okay, <laughs> this is an upward spiral. In your song, hmm. uh, "Wrong Time," yeah. I think you say you ask something along the lines of, "What did, what did the what last the eight years?" Oh, uh huh. Mean? Was it an eight-year relationship? It was a three-year relationship, but like best, best, best friends for eight years. Like tied at the hip. It's like okay. a it's like a long time. I can see that. So about time. like five years of friendship. Super close, like BFS. And then, and then that's you know. my style. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. Friends first. I don't have a whole that's lot nice. of game. I can't just like you know. What are you talking about? You know, like I can't <laughs> like you know going out to like a bar or something. Right, 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 I'm right. more like let's be friends for like a decade. Yeah, and then maybe I'll like have the courage to say like, hey. Well, you're no, cute. I'm not gonna have any courage <laughs> at any point. Oh, okay. But okay. at some point, you're just like you just kind of give in. Right. <laughs> You're like you'll do. <laughs> uh, but it's it's amazing that you got to write about such a personal thing. Mm -hmm. um, and how is this project, um, either musically or the process, um, different or similar to you uh, as your your last EP? Mm -hmm. Because this is a follow up. It's definitely extremely honest. My last EP was too, but I was in a different like part of my life and in my brain and. I feel like this one, I just wasn't scared of like making um, like a perfect sounding song. I just kind of wanted to express myself and say exactly what I was feeling. And I just like, yeah, just super raw, like open wound, just let it all out. It was and very so honest. far, how's the, the reception been? I know that from Dream State, that's the last mm -hmm. EP. Mm -hmm. um, I believe one of the songs on there got the attention of Taylor Swift. It did. Right? So cool. Big She's fan a gem. of the show as well. Um, I went to her concert okay. with my friend Jared, and we went backstage, and I met her. And one, she's taller than me, which I already knew that going in because I stalk her. No, um, but I'm tall, so I was like, finally, I can like literally look up to someone. Um, <laughs> and she was like so kind, and she told me how much she loved my songs, and it like made me cry. And I just like hugged her, and it was a beautiful moment. I love her. I really do. Lost in translation, can you tell me production wise, is it a live bass or sample? Um, sample. Really? Yeah. It's and poppin'. what is what is the process like for you? Like with writing, because you're a guitarist. Yep. You can obviously sing. Yep. I'm uh, ish. Are you <laughs> and these kidding. are obviously like personal experiences, but we talk to a lot of people who, you know, you go into studio sessions, you're writing. Like most of the time it's me and my two collaborators, Ben and Joey, who are also in my band, and we did the first DP together as well. And um so a lot of the time, like I don't love to like sit down and write a song. Like that's just not really my vibe. I like, I like to stand up and write one. <laughs> exactly. I like to like look in the corner and just wait. <laughs> no, but I do. I actually really like to like wait for it to come to me. And a lot of the times it comes to me when I'm about to fall asleep or like doing nothing. And then like just inspiration hits and I'll get my phone and record stuff. I have so many voice memos that I'm going to post like about with the whole EP. But um yeah, so it starts with that, and then I'll bring it usually to the boys, and then they'll help me flush it out, and we just sit there and produce it all out, and the song is born, and the star is born as well. <laughs> How long have you been sitting on the songs from stages? 
This was like basically all of 2018 was this wow. whole EP. It's very cathartic. Oh my God. It's it. like therapy. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Thanks. Thank you, Frankie, for pop dusting. Pop dust. Anytime. Thanks for having me, you guys. Loved being here. Loved it. Well, now you work here. <laughs> okay. That's Hire how me. It, that's how it happens. <laughs> okay. And you have my wallet. Wonderful. Yes. I'm so coming back. <laughs>